Indian society is made up of many diverse groups of people that belong to numerous castes and various religions. The caste system is one of the unique features of Indian society. Its roots can be traced back to thousands of years. Hello students, we are back with the Concept Made Easy video where we are going to take up a concept and make it easy for you to learn. Today, we are going to look at the origin of caste system in India. The word caste derives from the Spanish and Portuguese casta, meaning race, lineage or breed. Portuguese employed casta in the modern sense when they applied it to hereditary Indian social groups called Jati in India. Jati originates from the root word Jana, which implies taking birth. Thus, caste is concerned with birth. According to Anderson and Parker, caste is that extreme form of social class organization in which the position of individuals in the status hierarchy is determined by descent and birth. How did the caste system originate in India? Let us discuss its various theories. There are many theories like traditional, racial, political, occupational, evolutionary and so much more which try to explain the caste system in India. First, let us look at the traditional theory. According to this theory, the caste system is of divine origin. It says that the caste system is an extension of the Varna system where the four Varnas originated from the body of the Brahma. At the top of the hierarchy were the Brahmins who were mainly teachers and intellectuals and came from Brahma's head. Kshatriyas or the warriors and rulers came from his arse. Vaishyas or the traders were created from his thighs. At the bottom were the Shudras who came from Brahma's feet. The mouth signifies its use for preaching and learning, the arms for protection, thighs to cultivate or business, and feet help the whole body. So, the duty of the Shudras is to serve all the others. The subcaste emerged later due to the intermarriages between these four Varnas. The proponents of this theory cite Purusha Sukta of Rigveda, Manasmriti, etc. to support their stand. Dr. Guri states that caste is a Brahmanic child of Indo Aryan culture cradled in the land of the Ganges and then transferred to other parts of India. The Brahmins even added the concept of spiritual merit of the king through the priest or Purohit in order to get the support of the ruler of the land. Racial Theory The Sanskrit word for caste is Varna, which means colour. The caste stratification of the Indian society had its origin in Chaduvarna system. Brahmins, Kshatriyas, Vaishyas and Shudras Indian sociologist D. N. Majumda writes in his book Races and Culture in India that the caste system took its birth after the arrival of Aryans in India. Rig Vedic literature stresses very significantly the differences between the Arya and the non-Aryans, not only in their complexion but also in their speech, religious practices and physical features. The Varna system prevalent during the Vedic period was mainly based on the division of labour and occupation. The three classes, Brahma, Kshetra and Vis are frequently mentioned in the Rig Veda. Brahma and Kshetra represent the poet, priest and warrior chief. Vis comprised all the common people. The name of the fourth class, the Shudra, occurs only once in Rig Veda. The Sudra class represented domestic servants. Political Theory According to this theory, the caste system is a clever device invented by the Brahmins in order to place themselves on the highest ladder of the social hierarchy. Occupational Theory Caste hierarchy is according to the occupation. Those professions which were regarded as better and respectable made the persons who performed them superior to those who were engaged in other professions which were considered less professional. According to Newfield, Function and function alone is responsible for the origin of caste structure in India. With functional differentiation, there came occupational differentiation and numerous subcastes 
such as Lohar, who are the blacksmiths, Chamar, who are the tanner, and Teni, the oil pressers. Evolution theory. According to this theory, the caste system did not come into existence all of a sudden or at a particular date. It is a result of a long process of social evolution. Now let us look at some possible causes as put forward by this theory. Hereditary occupations, the desire of the Brahmins to keep themselves pure, the lack of rigid unitary control of the state, the unwillingness of rulers to enforce a uniform standard of law and custom, the karma and dharma doctrines also explain the origin of the caste system. Whereas the karma doctrine holds the view that a man is born in a particular caste because of the results of his action in the previous incarnation, the doctrine of dharma explains that a man who accepts the caste system and the principles of the caste to which he belongs is living according to dharma. Confirmation to one's own dharma also remits on one's birth in the rich, high caste and violation gives birth in a lower and poor caste. Ideas of exclusive family, ancestor worship and the sacramental meal. Clash of antagonistic cultures, particularly of the patriarchal and the matriarchal systems. Clash of races, color prejudices and conquest. Deliberate economic and administrative policies followed by various conquerors. Geographical isolation of the Indian Peninsula. Foreign invasions and possibly rural social structure. So that's it for today guys. Hope you enjoyed the class and we will see you with new amazing explainer videos that will make your learning simple, easy and super fast.